After months of new images, character announcements, and hints of the upcoming story, we finally have a full-fledged movie trailer for My Little Pony A New Generation. I've been eager to see this film for quite a while now, as every new instance of the animation becomes all the more impressive. The world is bright, creative, and welcoming. Even when Izzy is unintentionally terrorizing an entire town of Earth ponies. The themes and environments seem to be leaning more towards a younger crowd, but just like with Generation 4, the MLP staff are remembering to put in bits of humor which even the adults will get a good chuckle out of. The story beats are following pretty close to what we've been expecting given the film synopsis that came out months ago, but I do appreciate that there are darker undertones if you take a closer look in the background. For example, Hitch acting a bit ignorant whilst in the midst of saving others does make for a pretty good joke. But if you take a look behind him here, there's a rather imposing poster which shows that Earth ponies being afraid of Pegasi have become part of their culture. I'm rather curious to see just how deep the levels of propaganda go within all three societies. I mean, just as we have been predicting from a long while back, each of the main five are being disguised as unicorns before venturing into the forest city of Bridalwood. So inevitably, there's going to have to be a point where Sunny is exposed as an earth pony. And I have to wonder whether there's going to be a similar reaction as to what happened with Izzy, or if there's going to be a more aggressive, even outright hostile response. More likely the former, as this film does seem to be leaning more towards a light-hearted story, but I'm noticing that there's very little focus in the trailer on the previous generation's influence. We have the very short clip of the main six figurines, and that's about it. So perhaps the MLP staff would rather the audience not go into the film expecting constant callbacks to Friendship is Magic. But then again, we do know from previous material that Sonny is fascinated by the stories of the main six from ancient times and thus it is rather likely we'd be seeing her using those stories to help inspire those she comes across in the film. One other thing that I very much appreciate is the continued dedication to showing how ponies would create the same kinds of devices that we've come to get used to in the modern world. Like an addition of Just Dance without the need of a television screen using a sliding wooden wheel instead. Little bits of creativity which help add to the fantasy, while keeping with a more modern theme. There's a lot more that I really want to dive into, especially with specific character traits, but I think I'll save that for future videos. Until then, I'd very much like to hear from each of you. Having waited several months for the trailer to release, did everything meet with your expectations? Are you all the more excited for the film, or was there something here that caused you to be more cautious of what lies ahead? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.